The Alachua County and City of Gainesville Commissions have been making strides in alleviating the plight of the homeless in our community. The effort is being noticed in Tallahassee and in the nation's capital. The State Council on Homelessness recently met in Gainesville to discuss the issue and to discuss the county and city's innovative 10-year plan to end homelessness. County update cameras were there. We named this project, we called it Project Grace, uh, and I think that's what we call our local solution. The solution to the problem of homelessness, Project Grace, is the plan. County and city leaders are hoping it will put an end to the problem in the community. Grace stands for Gainesville Regional Alachua County Empowerment. It's making progress. It is making a difference in the community. It has got us all working together and, and fighting the same fight, but it, it's, it's an ongoing battle. The State Council on Homelessness recently came to Gainesville to learn more about Project Grace, also known as the County and City's 10-year plan to end homelessness, and to listen to those who are tackling the issue. They are here today to get some public input on what, what the issues are that affect homelessness here in Gainesville and Alachua County, and more importantly, to help develop some policy recommendations for the governor and for the legislature on what the state can do better to serve those who don't have a place to live. That is, of course, the main problem, and it is the first problem being addressed by the plan. We are well ahead of schedule with some of our housing goals, and, and of course housing is the most important part of anything that we're doing. So what we've been trying to do is focus on getting as many new housing dollars into the community as possible. We had set a pace of about 35 new units of housing a year, and so at this point, we have added 167 units, either already in place or funded and under development. So we are well ahead of schedule with getting the new housing that we need. And what we're working on doing now is, is just complementing that housing with some additional services to make sure that once folks are in a safe and stable place to live, that they're going to have everything else that they need to be successful. And in order for the plan to succeed, community leadership is essential. When we got our political leaders involved in this process, we were able to move this process much further. And I tell anyone who's interested in moving and creating a 10-year plan, unless you have the political will and the political body behind you to move forward, you would not have a 10-year plan uh, that is successful. We are now in the third year of the 10-year plan. Now let's take a look back at the creation of Project Grace and the ongoing efforts to raise public awareness of homeless issues in the community. Homelessness is wrong. It's morally, spiritually, culturally, and we are learning more and more economically wrong. It's a human tragedy that we should no more countenance than we countenanced other social wrongs in our country's history. What 10-year plans are saying across the country is that we need to be tolerant of homeless people but intolerant of homelessness. We need some people who are homeless to serve on this committee. Okay, we need your name. Ms. Banks, you homeless? Thank you very much, you could be on this committee. Alfred Kaysen, you were with me for 48 hours. Thank you very much for being on the steering committee. Who else wants to volunteer to be on the steering committee? Oh, I like this, volunteers. The vision behind what we're doing is the absolute end to homelessness for anybody who doesn't want to be homeless. For people who are going to fall into homelessness, we get them back into housing as quickly as possible. For people who are on the streets, we get them off the streets as quickly as possible. We are working to eliminate that problem in this county. It can be done, and you have people committed to try to 
got to make that happen. A lot of people want to put in the homeless in the category of being shiftless, lazy bums, alcoholics, drug addicts, and not. And that's definitely not the fact. There's a lot of families, a lot of women and children that are homeless. There's a lot of misplaced workers who've just been downsizing the job that's homeless. This evening's event is really just to raise awareness and to bring people down, help them understand what's going on with the homelessness effort to try to not only help people not become homeless, but also to actively address those who've been living on the street. We've had some great successes over the past year. I mean, we've had the opportunity now to sit in the county to put together funding. Uh, first time we've ever had that to happen. Uh, we've now created an office of homelessness. We haven't had that to happen before. A day at a time, my life has come back together. I thank God out of the bottom of my heart. But I had to learn how to use these resources. I had to ask for help. I had to reach out. There are people who can be helped and who can get back on their own feet and return to productivity if, if we can pull together. You know, I see people reaching out this time to care and they're beginning to understand. It means a lot. It really does. It actually shows that there are people in the community that actually care about us. The 10-year plan is built around a housing first model. And we want to make sure it's not a housing only model. That once you have a place to live, there's still needs and still services that people desperately need. So we're trying to figure out how to deliver those. It's not a radical idea. It's providing housing for people who need it. It's providing services for people who need them. Um, it's providing compassion and being there when people are ready to change their lives, being there to help them change their lives. We as advocates have been doing this for decades and until we got people like Commissioner Long and Mayor Hanrahan and Jack Donovan and so many other people on the commissions and in various city and county departments on board and behind this, we kind of had run up into some walls and we're finding now that with just a little bit of extra support and a little bit of uh, belief and a little bit of faith and hope that we can get so much more done as a community than we ever thought possible.